Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Digital Magicians video. If you're new to the channel, then um, please subscribe and also check out some of my other videos of different genres, including my animations and other project videos like my office builds. But this is just actually a illustration video just from no references, just kind of from memory here, what kind of drawings I could achieve just from imagination. Now, what I usually do when uh, doing these exercises, I kind of sketch around a little bit. I usually have no rhyme or reason. I just kind of lay out a bunch of different illustrations until I see something I like. Usually if I see something I like, I usually bring that front and center and then start kind of fleshing it out to see if this is something I could use. Once I see something I like, I start roughing out some of the more general features, adding harder edges and kind of slowly and gradually going up, adding more details and lines and not fully committing until I know that it looks like something I could use. And once I'm committed, I go in hard with the pen. Then I'm definitely laying down the final lines and I usually open up a new layer. Everything should be done on separate layers in case you do want to go back and change something. You can trash at least the pen layer and don't have to destroy your pencil lines or your sketches that you actually like. That's what's so fun about using Procreate. Um, you can actually experiment and play around and it doesn't feel like you actually stuck with the image. I'm gonna approach the colors the same way, opening up a new layer and kind of playing around with some different colors. By now, y'all probably think this is like Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. That was not kind of intentional. It was just kind of maybe something that was stuck in the back of my mind. I actually watch a lot of Dragon Ball Z, but I actually changed the gray to see if that was not a reference stuck in the back of my head and try to see if I could do a different kind of look. And it's still kind of leaning more towards a Piccolo. So I'm going to try to turn this into more of a Dragon Ball Z effect. Uh, dynamic looking thing. I figured I want to play around with a background here. So I'm just going to kind of slap together some paint down here, lay down some colors. I want to do a kind of a groundbreaking effect. Since we actually look like we're leaning towards a more track and pull Z look try to do that ground explosion looking effect that they usually do when they're actually powering up. And I just want to add a few more final touches to it because it looks like that light from the beam that I'm creating needs to come from a different angle, it needs to come from the actual light source itself. Touch that up a bit and we should be done. I like to actually do a lot of exercises like this. It kind of lets you see what you can do from just imagination rather than actually using references. And I'm not in any way saying to not use references. You definitely, by all means, use references. This actually gives you um, a better feel of anatomy and uh, body structures. But every now and again, try to draw without those references to see what you can do just from imagination and what you retain from those references itself. Um, and thanks for watching this video. And if you actually like this, I'll be doing more of these actual art therapy videos. Um, this is probably my third one so far, but I do draw a lot. So I'm gonna try to add these to these um, to this actual channel. Um, thanks for watching and like if you like and subscribe, please. It actually helps the channel. Thank you.